Dalton's law state that the atmospheric pressure or barometric pressure outside is the sum of all the gases together. The equation represents this as a capital P for partial pressure with the gas type as a subscript N2 for nitrogen, O2 for oxygen, CO2 for carbon dioxide, and H2O for water. The outside air is mostly made of the inert gas nitrogen, with only 21% of the air made of oxygen and less than 1% made of carbon dioxide or water vapor. At sea level, the partial pressure of air is 760 millimeters of mercury or 1 atmospheric pressure. Changes in altitude affect the atmospheric pressure. At sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury. Going up to a mile-high city like Denver, Colorado or Prescott, Arizona reduces the atmospheric pressure to around 630 millimeters of mercury. Leadville, Colorado is the highest city in the United States with an atmospheric pressure of 534 millimeters of mercury. An expedition to Mount Everest in 1981 made the first atmospheric pressure measurement at 253 millimeters of mercury. Atmospheric pressure can also fluctuate depending on the weather. Listen to the weather forecasters sometimes. When they refer to a high pressure front or a low pressure front, they are referring to atmospheric pressure. This also affects the amount of oxygen available to breathe in. On Mount Everest, great weather or the presence of a high pressure front not only means good climbing, but it also means just a little more oxygen available to breathe. Here we can visually see the size of the composition of air as a pie at sea level. Oxygen is 21% of the air, which means the partial pressure of oxygen or PO2 is 160 millimeters of mercury that you can breathe in. In Prescott, Arizona, we can see the atmospheric pressure is no longer 760, but smaller. It's 630 millimeters of mercury, so the total amount of air available is less. Oxygen is still 21%, so the PO2, or partial pressure of oxygen available to breathe in, is only 132 millimeters of mercury. It gets worse on the top of Mount Everest. The atmospheric pressure is 253 millimeters of mercury, which means that you can only bring in 53 millimeters of mercury for each breath. This is barely enough to keep you alive. So far, we have only discussed the air outside. When we breathe air in, we humidify it or add water vapor to the air. This actually dilutes the air. At sea level, this reduces the incoming PO2 from 160 millimeters of mercury to 149 millimeters of mercury. Once the breath of air gets into the lungs, it mixes with the old outgoing air. This further reduces the PO2 to 104 millimeters of mercury in the alveoli.